Microsoft Teams is getting games? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Clean Tech, home of daily technology news and reviews. And today we're going to be talking about the fact that Microsoft is bringing video games onto Microsoft Teams. Today's video is brought to you by Clean Router. More on them at the end of the video. So Microsoft is working on games for Microsoft Teams. Let's jump right in. Microsoft has started working on bringing casual games to its Microsoft Teams service. Sources familiar with Microsoft's plans uh, says that um, Software Maker has started testing games like uh, Solitaire, Connect 4, and Wordament inside Microsoft Teams. The casual games are designed to allow colleagues to play against each other during meetings. While you won't be playing Halo or Forza inside Teams anytime soon, Microsoft is clearly looking at games as another way to improve the meetings experience as businesses continue to balance the needs of hybrid and remote work. Neat. Microsoft is only testing casual games internally from its casual gamers, sorry, casual games offering uh, right now and the company could choose not to roll this integration out to consumers and businesses. Uh, reached for comment, uh, Microsoft refused to comment on its testing of games inside Microsoft Teams. So they're uh, keeping a tight lip about it. Alongside testing casual games in Teams, Microsoft also envisions virtual spaces inside Teams where colleagues can network and socialize with games. These virtual spaces are part of Microsoft, Microsoft's broader metaverse plans and the company has previously detailed its ambitions for 3D avatars and immersive meetings that are expected to arrive in Microsoft Teams this year. Uh, Microsoft has continuously been adding features to Teams with remote work in mind. Together mode was one of the first pandemic era additions nearly two years ago at this point and Microsoft Teams has also been updated with remote friendly views and features and mobile improvements. So uh, is it a good feature? Yes. Would I like to see it? Absolutely. But is it going to be like the big leagues when it comes to gaming? No. Uh, I mean if at all it does end up coming out it's going to be pretty basic solitaire and you know uh, word of man and other games that I just mentioned because uh, ultimately at the end of the day Teams is and will continue to be a productivity software. It's a utilitarian uh, sort of an application and it's not really meant for games and um, if they end up offering you know major games or like the AAA titles on there like i highly doubt people are actually going to focus on work anymore so yes uh while uh, meetings can tend to be sometimes boring sometimes long sometimes there's just a lot of waiting period involved uh, i can see definitely uh like the feature itself uh being used and you know appreciated uh from the consumers or the user base but yeah uh, i mean i sincerely hope that they do end up launching it even uh, as part of like a paid tier or something although it won't be ideal it would still provide access but that's just speculation at my end uh, on uh, you know on, based on the current news uh, at this point but yeah let me know your thoughts about it down in the comment section below clean router is the only router you will ever need because it allows parents to easily manage all the devices in their homes and stop internet pornography it's simple and easy to use doesn't slow down the internet and allows you to block pornography gambling and anything else that you don't want your kids to see using the seven layer intel filter logs all activities per device it also allows you to put time restrictions get email reports and gives you the ability to block content by keywords and even filters YouTube. Check them out in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and you have a great day.